Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Wednesday. It's November the 9th. This will be our chart lesson for the day, and really, really crazy day. The election results um, obviously played a big part in this, but you can see we had a huge rally today. We sold off during the overnight. We found a bottom around, I guess that's around 2030 or so. And before the day was over, we went from 2030 um, to 2165 or so. So, I mean, you know, that's a 130-point day. I mean, just an incredible day. Uh, that, uh, assuming, let me back up, assuming that if you bought the overnight low, which, you know, most of us aren't going to be trading then, and, you know, when it's when the market's down 100 points like that um, or more, you, you know, you're not going to be inclined to be buying down here. Um, I will say every time this market has a huge sell off, it's generally been a buying opportunity. One day that may not be the case, but, you know, when I see the market down like this, you know, if I'm not going to, if I'm. I don't do any overnight trades in the ES anymore. If I'm going to do something longer term, I'll pick up a couple of options. And you probably could have done that last night. You could have picked up a couple of options and, um, you know, made a fortune. So um, just in, within a few hours. So it's a great opportunity. But I'm going to do something a little different today. But anyway, you can see the big sell-off during the overnight. We found the bottom. And then we started rallying. And this is way too steep. So eventually we we fell at a more 45 degree angle and a more healthy trend, but it, it we we actually closed up today from where we closed yesterday. So we had a pretty a fairly nice rally yesterday. So you know we were looking at 2100, you know being below that for a short period of time the last few days, and suddenly today we're almost at 2200. You know we're just 20, you know, maybe 30 points away. So, uh, but rather than go over all the trades, because there's probably 50 trades today, it's, you know, it'd take all day to go through a chart lesson. And, and so what I'm going to do is just kind of talk about how to trade this day and just do something a little bit different. So, and probably not going to probably cut it down, you know, length, uh, but I'm going to back out here. When you back out, you really start to see how big this rally was. But notice what you need to do here is this: this was the bigger pattern for the day. For the most, of course, we had a pattern coming down, but let's just start. That's in the overnight. So let's start what you would need to start trading this morning. You needed to find the bigger pattern for the morning, and if you just draw your trend line off these first few swings here. Um, that gives you your trend line. You can see we came back to it here, came back to it here, and then we finally got a break. And then we, and then later, if you just use these first few swings here, that gives you this trend line. And you know, you use that trend line to find uh, your upper line and your uh, your mid line as well. This one was a little bit more difficult to find here. It wasn't hard at all to find the trend line. You could find it early, way down here at 7.30 this morning. If you just drew that line and left it there and waited, you may not have had it at the proper angle. Um, it was hard not to because if you drew it off just the closes, it would have just been a flat line. So if you just started at the lows and worked it off the closing, you should have been really close. You might have had to adjust it here a little bit. Uh, and originally I drug it all the way to the top, but I never could make the midline work really well. So I ended up pulling it down to the low of this up here. And then lo and behold, it tend to fit the rest of the day. And then your midline worked out just right. You can see prices working off the low of it there. And uh, so that's, so you find that bigger pattern first. And then within that pattern, you find your shorter term patterns. Now, the first one I would have been interested in coming in this morning is this one working down right here. And I draw that, you can see that channel just clears day right there. And, and you're expecting prices to try to come back to this uh, trend line here, this main trend line. But notice we're working down. We get a close outside. We get a couple legs down. 
and this is the key right here watch what happens you get a you got a new low you get a first entry short you get a second entry short you might have gone short right there um, it would have worked you could have gotten a, a scalp there but uh, I don't think I'd be selling in this market so I just want to sit tight and wait and it, technically I'm waiting for it to come back here but when this fails that's a failed second entry short in a very strong rallying market just go long right there if you'd have taken that one long um, that's it this bar closed at well you'd probably want to go to this next bar it closed at 751 so you wouldn't have got a trade probably till um, you might have even taken this long here but I don't think I would take that one uh, because you got your break and a new low but you're really kind of going sideways there. So this is like a little breakout pullback. But the key here is it's a failed second entry short. And if you drew that line across there. Um, but anyway, you get a chance to go long here and you catch the low of the day. And you could have ridden this thing up 60 points, 50, 60 points with one runner. And it would have been good all day. If you didn't do anything but run it up till it, till it um, failed on this trend. And so now that you're going up here, you that's how you find that reversible. Now that you're moving higher, you draw your new shorter term trend in there. And you can see if you draw it right off those first few swings there, it holds all the way up. And you drag it up and put it on top. We get a little overshoot. And then we're going the other direction. And we had a little channel here. We actually had a break right there. Um, but we got another one right here. As clean as that leg was down, I'd look for a second one. But this one comes all the way down to the trend line. And notice, um, you also had a little shorter term channel right here. And look what happens. You're coming down, you get a close outside, move to a new low, and you get a reversal right off your main, your bigger two-tiered channel that was working higher. That's a good place to go long. It's a good ways away from the EMA. But even if you don't want to take that, notice what happens. You get that low, you're going up, you get a first entry, you push through, you get that failed second entry short, go long right there. And then there's you another great, that's that reversal pattern when you're looking for a reversal and when you're looking for something off this trend line, and off it goes. And you get a couple of other pullbacks here to that main trend line. Um, they're not great setups but you still might be interested in them. You could actually treat this as a double bottom. And so you could treat this as another failed second entry short. So you could go long right there, even with that, not a great signal bar. Somebody posted a question and I meant to answer that. Uh, but yeah, the only time you're not interested in the signal bar is when it's a trap or something. And because the whole idea is to make it look very bearish. And so, Normally, you want a nice bullish signal bar if you're going to go long or a nice bearish signal bar if you're going to go short. But when it's a reversal pattern and a trap, we don't care about the signal bar because it, the whole idea is to trap you on the wrong side. So that's a great place to get long. Okay, sorry, I had an interruption there. But then now you've got this channel working up and you just play this channel all the way up. And notice what's out more working up. Uh, again, since this was a double bottom, you can treat this like a failed second entry short and go long. And I, now you got an overshoot here. You're not back up to the to the top here, but you probably wouldn't have had this yet. Uh, you needed a little more price action to find it. So I just would have been playing what you had off this shorter term channel working up, and you get an overshoot, and then another overshoot, and then a break, a new high. You still got a break and a new high here. Uh, sometimes you don't, and then it reverses. And then now you got a channel working down here. Again, you draw it off the first two swings there. And uh, you drag it down to the lower spot. It could have been this one. Uh, originally, I was playing this one. and uh, But it, it ended up fitting better here. And you can see the midline right there. Price is working both sides of that. And so now you're working down. And you got your break of this one, a new high. Um, You actually, let me back up a little bit here because you probably would have drawn a draw on this short term one here. And that led to your break of this 
main this was the main trend line coming up off the overnight and the fact that we couldn't get back to the midline or anything else and plus the fact that it was so steep it doesn't surprise me that it changed here so playing the shorter term one lets you know when something may change to the other side again look at this short term channel working up the overshoot the break move to a new high and then we're working down you get a trend line off those first two uh, you got a shorter term one here, but that's the first break, so at least let it go lower. But I'd draw one off those first two just in case and let it go lower. And then there's also another one working down here, this lighter one, that's a shorter term one working within this one. And notice you get a break of it, move to a new low, and it reverses. Now you got one going up. And when you start to get a big move down like this, I wouldn't be uh against selling right in here now uh the trend line the ema is working down the trend line's down uh we're getting lower highs and lower lows the trend's changing it's still probably a shorter term trend but it's long enough that you don't want to let it go without you because it may just keep going so i'm i'm not against selling in here so there's a couple of chances to get short and then finally you get your break here of this shorter term with a new low so now we're probably going to get a something going back the other way even if it's only temporarily temporary and then there it goes you get your break it tries to go higher and then it's going lower and remember earlier if you drew this trend line right here you might be expecting something to happen there and look what's happened it's just holding all the way and we're really just kind of going up and down sideways here this is where the uptrend starts you really are making higher lows and higher highs here so uh, you might have considered getting long in here but I would have waited until we got outside this trend line uh, once we had the reversal uh, notice you got a new low there first entry short second entry short it bounces right off that shorter term nice bullish bar um, I'd, I'd probably go long right there and off to the races it goes again and now you got this shorter term trend line working up here and notice you get a break here and you get a leg up and you basically get two measured legs on this one there's your first leg and there's your second one basically a perfect measured move and then it reverses again uh, a lot of times you only get one um, you only get one leg up on these shorter term ones but this is even though I consider this a shorter term trend here that's a pretty long trend it actually starts right in here at I'd say about 950 maybe and it goes until 1050 so that's an hour long trend even though it's a sh on most days that would be a pretty good trend for the day but this is just a short term trend within the bigger stuff so don't lose sight of the bigger stuff but play your shorter stuff within it and then now we're working down you get a close outside right here and maybe you don't maybe this is a little steeper here let me play with this one just a little bit and that's probably more like it and it's probably got a midline in it you can see that and uh but you're working down you get a little overshoot and then it reverses I and mean, this one you you still get a retest of the low but it's a good bit later so you can't ignore this trend working up here um, again I don't I don't know if I would have taken a short here but you're expecting a correction so you're expecting it to probably come back here and that's a big enough move to where if you really got a good setup you'd probably go short but it reverses real quick and then it comes down and where does it bounce and look at this. this is a perfect setup right here look at this little channel it's working down back to the key entry point you get a close outside a move down and it bounces right off that main trend line key entry point nice reversal bar go long right there and again you've caught a low at a key entry point and you'd have a runner and it takes off again and look at that trend line it's bouncing off of it all the way up I mean it's the price action was really nice today and that takes you up here to this correction 
and that pretty much that little correction takes you in to the two o'clock hour where we're not going to probably take any more trades and you can see that but notice you get a close right here outside of this one move to a new high and then it reverses again perfect price action so um, the price action even on a crazy day like today the price action was just rolling along just like you would expect it to and you can see again we had the big sell-off then we found support we rallied we had a two-tier channel working up it's way too steep but doesn't matter follow it until it changes but when you get a rally and it's this steep eventually during the day it's probably going to level out some so instead of getting a reversal you'll probably just get a little correction and then you'll find a flatter uh, trend line or channel and there it is right there um, you know it's a little bit harder to find the midline and the upper line here but it didn't matter all you really need you know as long as you got that trend line and followed the shorter term ones within there it was pretty easy to follow the price action and so you know great trading day and you know even though this was an uptrend some of these corrections were long enough and big enough that you might consider trading them I wouldn't until we had a break of this main overnight two-tier channel I wouldn't consider shorts but once we started working down off that and notice we got two legs up basically to a new high there it looks like there's one leg after the break of the main two-tier channel then there's the other one we didn't get anywhere near that I mean this you know market would have had to almost rally 200 points to get there so doesn't mean it can't do it but it's rare that the market's going to do that so uh, I mean this is a really big rally I'll just be honest with you really big rally so uh, but anyway hopefully that was helpful to you today a little different than what we normally do but rather than trying to point out all the trades today and talk about 30 trades or 40 trades uh, I just thought it'd be better to talk a little bit more about theory and so um, that's basically what I saw um, you know following the price action but anyway I'm gonna wrap it up uh, we'll be back again to do it tomorrow we'll see what happens from here uh, will the market the market will probably settle down and get uh, and get you know move back to more normal state uh, I wouldn't but I, I like it when it rallies like this because you can make a lot of money really fast and you know you can sit there and be choosy and find lots of trades and wait on the best trades and so you know it wouldn't bother me if it did this every day one way or the other but uh, this is an unusual day, so it's not a normal day. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow and to wrap up our week tomorrow. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.